Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with the Mystic Western Game Jam. The Mystic Western Game Jam was like a sequel to the Space Cowboy Game Jam, which happened a couple of years ago. A bunch of the games that were in this jam were taken to an actual West Texas, Tex, Texas? Mystical Desert and exhibited during the Mafia, Mafia Film Festival. Um, basically, the theme was constellations. A lot of people used uh, Western or Cowboy or made sequels from their Space Cowboy games and entered them. I'll be playing all of them for about a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the individual games will be in the description so you can have a closer look at them. And all my info will also be in the description. Thank you for watching and liking and commenting. Next. We're playing Sinister Stars. Oh. I'm sitting at the mouth of a cave and it sounds like our horse got spooked. This is a really nice little cutscene. Alright. Uh, scary music. Stars falling from the sky. Okay. That's not at all creepy. Sinister stars. Alright. You need to rotate. So now we're we looking for our lost horse then. Oh, there's one of the glowing things. It's like one of the fallen stars. Alright. Apparently we've decided to pick it up. Here's another. This feels really scary. I wonder what we're going to do without... Okay. There's a weird figure just watching us. Alright, so he's afraid of light. Okay. And now he's following us. Oh shit, there's tons of them. Sort of came closer. Back away. There's quite a few of them behind us now. Next. We're playing Plains of Eden. Oh, it's a game about sitting and watching the stars. I seem to be in our house, but our house is sort of see-through. Oh, it's space. It said to sit down and watch the stars, so I guess you literally can sit down and watch the stars. That one's quite shiny. Alright, what if we can we go outside? Yeah. Let's have a look around. The grass looks pretty neat. Lots of stars and some sort of hand. Huh. I wonder what these hands are. Why they're just sitting out here. That hand's still there. These ones are still here. Who knows? It's a bit creepy almost. The stick breaking noises and stuff. Are you pointing at a constellation for me? I'm not very good at identifying constellations. I don't know, I feel like it would be a relaxing game, except I'm really creeped out. So, um, we can bring our stool out here and sit.
Maybe bring it to the hand. Weirdness. Next. We're playing Quick Death. This is a two player game, so Lewis is playing as well. Alright. I shot you. Yeah. Alright, I've been waiting, wandering longer than I remember. So now there's this. It's sort of as it like closes in, it gets like closer, I guess. Ooh. You shot the barrel. I shot you. Actually builds, I guess that's what that like little cone is that's getting closer. Out in the desert, a man don't cry for his fate, only accepts it. Gotcha. I've got this down. Who yeah, wins? Lucky. The one who shoots first or the one who gets shot? I'm not lucky. I'm planning it. It's random. No, no, when you shoot. I'm planning to go in between these and this This has to do with your accuracy. The closer yeah. it gets. Yeah. You can shoot anywhere in that arc. Yeah, but you get it gets closer. Whiskey don't drown the voice of the dead. And wind affects it as well. Yeah, that was a good one. I met a man today. He was me. I shot him down. I guess the levels are sort of... Oh, what, why do these ones have, like, bad signs on them? Gotcha. All right. That's pretty interesting. Next. We're playing Once Upon a Train. That was pretty cool. Alright. Paper ball. That's like a plant. I wasn't sure what that was. We've got some food. Lots of paper balls. Oh, what if we pick them up and put them in the trash? There we go. Some over here, right, right, yeah. I wonder who's crumpled up all these pieces of paper. There you go. Bam. And I threw two in this corner so I remembered where they were. Which is absolutely the wrong spot to put it because it's like the farthest point away, but you know. What do you have to do on a nearly empty train? We're just going through the desert, so you know, not much to see. Bam. Awesome. Alright, can we go out here? Doesn't look like it. Oh. Bowl. And some cereal. Lots of cereal on this train. Throw everything in the trash. I'm not sure if we should be doing this. I really don't know what to do. Okay. We throw some stuff off the moving train. That'd be fun. Bye. That was actually way more fun than throwing stuff in the trash. It's pretty cool. Oh, we can throw stuff out the window. Just kidding. There we go. That's fun. No. Bam. No. Yeah. Wow, you can just frisbee throw the plate. It's not that hard, character. Hope no one wants food because we've got nothing. Alright, we'll throw you the trash then. Just kidding. The fork sucks at going anyway. I'm not really sure what we're supposed to be doing or anything, but this is kind of fun to play around. Next. We're playing Three Lucky Stars. Right, they're after me. Alright, so basically we're influencing them. A fire. I've never been here. We're influencing her to follow this star to go places. I should follow my lucky stars. So that's the character. A fire. I've never been here. Yep. I must avoid them. 
could go to that fire. A fire? I've never been here. So she has to get to all of the fires to then leave the area, I think. Thank you, Lucky Stars. Alright, they're after me. Oh, crap. There's one path from here, no choice. Oh, uh, we ended up getting caught by them, so we can't get caught by them, but we have to touch everything. Um, touch all the fires. Um. We go that way, I guess. Where is he gonna go? To me. No! You were supposed to move on! Oh, it wasn't a clear path, though. Because there was a different fire in the way, so it was unclear. So this is kind of an interesting game. It's a bit challenging. I like how the, the characters look sort of like puzzle pieces, or like game board pieces. Next. We're playing River Bones. Floating down a river. This is neat looking. All right. You can kind of move side to side. It's like river rafting almost. Except there's a dead animal in the river. Like a fire. Let's go over to that. So I wonder if like a, a person was there and they hunted. Oh, actually, there's some broken bits. So maybe they didn't hunt anything. Maybe their thing broke their wagon. There's like an ox probably pulling the wagon. Oh, enter. How do I? Yes. In the hotel. What about the hotel? Were we transported to the future? We're like up in this room. Oh, I clicked out of the window. Sorry. Oh, there's some guy in the tub. Ah! How's the tub? A truck pulled up outside. I think it's our ride. It's too early. Look at you, you just want to stay in that bathtub. I'm gonna go meet him downstairs. Give me a moment, I'll get out and get dressed. You shouldn't go alone. Just pack up. I think one of my shirts fell behind the dresser. Check it, please, would you? Alright, well, that's like the dresser, maybe? Or I don't want to go out there alone, to be honest. Get out of the tub. I can't check your shirt. I'm not strong enough. Ah! Mm. I guess we'll go outside. So like more stairs? Yeah. It's like a classic hotel. Except I shouldn't be going outside. Oh, this is it. Ah, oh, this is a bit suspenseful. Oh, wow. Is it everything alright, ma'am? Did anyone come in just now? Not a soul. We'll be checking out now. My assistant should be right behind me. Make sure he tips you. Appreciate it. Thank you for staying with us. Olivia. Oop. Sorry. Should have played the game in full screen. Where's the gold? Your family wants you back. 
Next, we're playing a night deity. Okay. I don't know what's going on, really. Are you just making music with the night stars? Let's slow you down a bit. Hmm. I like how the constellations are kind of moving to make a song. That's good. It's a neat little thing to play around with. I'm not very good at making music though. Next. We're playing Hope's Peak. The constellation brought me back to life. The constellation made me undying. Why? Learn about the mystery unfolding in Hope's Peak. All right, I'm a commoner. A small group of people were crowded around something in the streets. I went to look and discovered a torn, bloody piece of fabric. Before long, Sheriff Ward showed up and confiscated it for investigation, but not before the rumor mill started turning. Notorious fisticuffs campfires. So let's pick campfires. Camped out in a plateau above the valley, I saw all of the campfires below like little sparks of specks of light. Counting them, I reached nearly 40. 40 different campfires at 40 different campsites. It's observant. I was always observant. It was worth it to take things slow and plan. It helped in a firefight. It helped in a duel. Heck, it helped playing cards. Alright, let's, um, terrain. I think this is a bit, like, random almost. The terrain surrounding Hope's Peak was rough. No one was meant to live here. We were already here, though. We had to grow food, but how do you grow food in rock and sand? Brutality. Seeing this amount of brutality was always shocking. Two people found dead in the stagecoach. Well, dead is not the correct term. Someone messed these people up. Someone had carved AMC into the side of the stagecoat with sort of some sort of bandit signature. So this is one of the endings. There's over 2,000 endings to this game. So that's pretty interesting. The story's done in like five paragraphs at a time. It's a neat concept, and I kind of liked following the story and just the little bits of sound that happened here and there were nice. Next. I'm playing Luminous Cactus. I seem to be getting in trouble. I'm guessing I'm the kid, probably. Alright, so I'm practicing shooting. Ah, I didn't do very good. I only shot one thing. So later. I wish I knew what they were saying. The environment's quite charming. Trying to chat lady up. The only lady in the whole bar. Hmm. Actually, in the description, there's totally like a dictionary for all of the words that basically everyone's saying. Which is hilarious. It's a really cool idea of making up your own language. Next. We're playing Beyond the Pleasure Principle. Alright. It's kind of like the water game, except there's no water. It's bone dry here. No, this weird black and whiteness is very creepy. I've never actually been to a desert in real life. I traveled as far as I could get and found nothing. All right. Some stars in the sky. 
I'm not sure where we should be heading. Something I had, can't remember what it was. All right. It's getting darker out. I always dream about myself. Am I really that selfish? This is water. And the ocean. There's the moon. It's quite bright. Something, something. I don't think we can go up any farther. Well, maybe. Come on. Come on. I feel a shadow lurking in my footsteps. Come on. Just get to the top. And then we can climb over this rock. Awesome. Wow. It's quite mysterious and interesting. Are you following me? I guess so. I don't know. Next.